Hey again, everyone. Chris Lundstrom here at Marine Max Coco. Thank you so much for joining us as we go through another video walkthrough of one of my personal favorite boats. This is the all new Boston Whaler 220 Dauntless. So this is the entry level size into their bay boat category. And we're gonna start here with the exterior of the boat, show you how we profiled this boat out, and then walk through the inside and show you some of the really cool features that this boat does include. So one of the biggest differences you'll notice in the new Dauntless series is the sharpness of the bow compared to past models. So it gives it a much more aggressive look here from the exterior. Gel coat scheme done in light blue. And with this keel up redesign, you'll see that we do have a reverse chine here giving us a very dry ride on this boat. And as you look down the side of the exterior here, just an incredible profile, very streamlined look here, especially when it's sitting in the water. A very recognizable boat as you see it running past you. And as you can see here from the exterior, we did do a full fiberglass hardtop with some kind of contouring lines on the hardtop as well. So it really complements the look of the whole design there with the full fiberglass hardtop. A couple notes here as we work our way down the side, we did do a stainless steel insert here in our white rub rail. And then the way that Whaler designed here at the bow is this kind of recessed molded out area for our cleat as well as our navigation lights. So giving us kind of a one flush deck feel as we are up here at the bow. Working our way down the side, again, just noting this very streamlined look, just a, a very attractive boat. Another midship cleat that is recessed down into the gunnel, giving us a nice flush look here on the side. A chrome model designator matching our rub rail as well as all of our stainless exterior hardware really ties together in my opinion the look with the light blue for just a very attractive boat and then this boat was optioned with the power pole uh, we are going to be swapping that to white uh, but for the time being we do have black power pole that is a 10 foot power pole blade with our controls there at the helm which we'll get to as we get inside the boat let's go ahead and hop inside and show you the interior features of this 220 Dauntless as we start here on the aft end, we did power this boat with a white Mercury 250 horsepower outboard that will bring this boat up to a top end speed of 50 miles an hour. And a really neat design in the aft end of the deck here is where they did recess the uh, aft casting platform to be able to let the motor trim completely out of the water. And that is also where our raw water hookup is located. Boston Whaler did a really nice job listening to some customer feedback in the reboarding ladder design, where we do have a telescoping ladder now compared to the, the one that was molded into the transom. So a little bit easier to access when we are inside the boat compared to past models. We do have two flip up jump seats, but when they are in the down position, you see I have a one level casting deck for those days we are gonna be doing some fishing. Three flush mounted rod holders, two beverage holders, stainless steel hardware which will flip up these back jump seats and just look at the the ruggedness of our stainless equipment here so you can see it's a really firm backrest all finished underside of that casting deck and it hits me really high in the back so it gives me a nice comfortable place to sit drink holders on opposing sides additional beverage holder here behind the leaning post I do have a recessed grab handle here, so a very comfortable place for your passengers to sit when we are going for a cruise. Upgraded sound system here with JL speakers. And then this is the upgraded leaning post, giving us knives and plier storage, as well as an extremely big live well down there underneath of our leaning post. It is also on a tension hinge, so I can lift it up, grab my bait, I don't have to use one hand to hold it up and it does have a nice gasket there to keep everything watertight from uh, spilling down into our live well. I have four vertical rod holders here mounted to the back of my leaning post, as well as four additional rod holders here at the hard top. And this is also a ski toad spot for uh, if we did wanna have some water sports day activities or we wanna throw the kids in a tube behind the boat, you got a tow point there right mounted into the framework of your hard top. So nice thought there from Boston Whaler. Working our way here to one of the most comfortable leaning posts that I have seen. Um, these are individual flip down bolsters, extremely padded bolsters. So you don't feel any of the framework there if we are sitting on top of them. But if we use it as a leaning post, you can see here that I have a two step footrest. So if I am leaning up against the bolsters, I've got a recessed area for my toes to sit comfortably. Or if I'm gonna sit on the bolster itself, 
I can use the top one. So great idea there from Boss Will. I've got some courtesy lights underneath that'll show a little bit of glow down there for uh, some sunset cruises or something like that. But an easy place for your passenger to sit with two beverage holders here, a nice molded channel for if I do have some water coming to the boat, it'll drain right down here. This is the new design in the digital throttle and shift from Boston Whaler. This is the active trim now molded as part of your digital control. So I don't have a separate toggle switch anymore. It's right here on the side of your throttle. LED indicators on our trim tabs. And then here as the captain's station, you can see everything is in a very easy place to grab. I don't have to reach real far. It's not too close to me. Very comfortable place to drive right here. I've got a nice, ergonomic grab handle here if I wanted to use that. The steering wheel is on a tilt base with a speed knob and then this is the controls here where we decided to mount for our power pole. But a very clean design in our electronics package here. MFD Raymarine unit, Mercury vessel view, Fusion Bluetooth stereo, all LED backlit rocker switches and our VHF all-in-one easy to use location as well as a lockable glove box for any belongings that I wanted to keep secure there. And then as you can see, I don't have any cross beams in my hard top giving me complete visibility here in front, as well as a, a nice curvature in the windshield. I don't have any stress fractures or anything or worry about any of the, of the windshield uh, being damaged. And then a nice non-skid material here for my phone and just anything I wanted to catch and not have rolling around. The design in this console, it does actually recess down into this non-skid and I have a wireless phone charger right next to my compass. So great design in the console here. We're gonna work our way around the starboard side. One thing to note in this redesign is the increased gunnel height. So I think we have now up to 25 inches. So it hits me actually above my knee. So a little bit more safety and security if we've got little ones that uh, we do have running around. And then behind you actually, as we do maybe have some water come into the cockpit, this is a self bailing cockpit. So this does not drain down into the bilge, that drains overboard. So a uh, nice touch to not have to worry about the bilge filling up with water. Extremely wide walkway here as I do make my way around the console. Additional grab rail here. This is a lockable console with a porta potty down in there. That's also the housing for our trolling motor batteries. And a nice little touch here is they did kind of widen your walkway into the console here so any full-size adults wouldn't have any trouble getting down down in there and also a plenty deep compartment there for storage as well as where your ignition is and the door also on a tension hinge so I don't have to worry about a big gust of wind swinging this door closed on anybody locked securely in place additional speaker here and as we move our way forward one of I think the biggest highlights on this boat is this double wide lounge so as you see I've got plenty of space for two full-size adults to be able to lounge here comfortably. The material that Boston Whaler used is extremely rugged, but also a very soft touch feel. So it's very comfortable for longer days on the water. Plenty of ergonomics in the design here. I have lower lumbar support and it is a very, very high backrest as well for your taller guests. Flip down armrests as well as opposing beverage holders on both sides of your console. And this is what's really impressive is the amount of space that you receive down in this lounger. So deep enough to throw water toys down in there, cast net, whatever you could want to uh, bring on the water. This boat is completely rigged and ready for delivery, giving us our full Coast Guard gear from Marine Max. You can see I do have two gas assisted struts to keep this in place, a nice gasket to keep water from getting inside. And you can see a fully finished underside of this lid. So no raw fiberglass to catch your fingers on. Just a nice, really an overbuilt boat from Boston Whaler here in the $220. This entire pad is removable as well as both of your bow cushions. They are snapped down in place here, but just wanted to show you that we do have a insulated fish box with another gas assisted strut here. So a great place to throw the day's catch, or if you wanted to plug it off and use it as a cooler, you could. And then a separated anchor locker up front there as well. We just have our bow cushions in place for the time being. But a really great design in the bow of the 220 Dauntless, giving us a great casting platform when those cushions are removed. 
additional rod holders here, and then a low profile bow rail with cup holders integrated into the grab handle. So a great place for your guests to entertain up here. And as you can see, your gunnel is one level all the way around, so no trip hazards there. And then your plug controls for whatever trolling motor that you wanted to install for those days we are gonna be doing some fishing. So knocked it out of the park with the 220 Dauntless. Credit to Boston Whaler and their design team. Thank you so much for joining us on this walkthrough video. Again, my name is Chris. Stop by here at Marine Max Coco before this boat heads home, and we'll show you how you can design your perfect boat for you and your family. Thanks again for joining.